Alright, hello everyone. Today I'll be demonstrating and showing you guys how I use my pose assets and use it in stable diffusion. So basically I have a list of prompts here. You can look at it. And then I does not in this demonstration I do not use any textual inversions or LORAs to assist with the outcome that I'm generating. So I'm using just the basic sampling method and without any high res, just for quick results. So if you, I'm using the newest control net uh, version 1.1, .1, the updated one. And right now I am using a pose that I have edited by enlarging the open pose model in Photoshop. So basically I enlarge it. And in this specific pose itself is quite difficult for stable diffusion to understand what this pose is and based on some testings the legs are often wrong or broken in multiple places so in the settings uh, I have enabled is just open pose itself because it's already open pose there's no images or anything so just this open by itself is good enough do not use open pose any open pose in the preprocessor because it's gonna break the model. So the same control weight in this one control model, you can use con uh, control net is more important, but I get better results with balanced. But it does work if the pose is much more easier for stable diffusion to understand, and I use the crop to resize. So let's just generate two and see the results and very quickly you'll see that just like the images that I've already generated the legs are often broken most of the time and the front part of the body majority of the time is always going to be correct because in the data sets I will have, have more information about the front part of the body but rarely have what the leg part is also the position of this model is a bit obscured so the AI is having a hard time to understand and by, by the way I'm using the realistic vision version 20 to do these generations different models different checkpoint models have uh, will generate different results some do better some do worse based on the data set is trained on for this checkpoint so for realistic vision it, w it shows results like this but then if you use a different model it's probably going to show you a different results so in this case to improve the understanding of for stable uh, to allow stable diffusion to have more creative space to generate a more accurate result based on this open pose i will lower the weight to 8.5 and lower the end control step to 8.5 so by lowering this, you're giving stable diffusion a bit more freedom in generating this image using the open pose. Because if you pull all the way to one, you're basically forcing stable diffusion to do exactly what this is. So it's a, a bit like overtraining. It's a bit like overtraining a image. You know, it just generates results that are like a bit messy. Also, uh, adding some prompts to help the the AI stable diffusion to understand what you want is so you can type in like lay down uh, like girl girl lay down uh, feet uh, feet up so you can just add some simple prompts in front on the very first so when the stable diffusion is generating this your images it's gonna first read these text so it's gonna know oh you want the girl laid down you want the feet feet is facing up right so let, let's try again hopefully the result is better because because the open pose itself is already so complicated AI itself has has a really hard time to understand this so not every time the the image is going to be 
looking good. Like like for example, it didn't really help at all. In this case, it didn't help at all because it just just a bit. The pose probably just way too 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 difficult for the AI to understand what you're actually trying to do. So sometimes you just you just gotta play around with it to to just see okay for this model for this checkpoint for realistic vision twenty version twenty what setting is gonna help me get a better result or more accurate right? so for example look, look at this I lower all my my ending control step all the way down to like zero point twenty seven and it's yielding much much better results even though it's kind of fucked up but it is giving me a much better result compared to what I had before you know it's, it's closer to what I'm posing here but it's just you, even though your, your your posing is like right there very clearly this is what you want you know if even if you pull the control way all the way to the very, very like 1.8 it's just not gonna get you the 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 result you want is just because that checkpoint and checkpoint right it just it just doesn't know this pose or doesn't have enough data set of this kind of posing so it probably for 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 stability field this is just like very very alien for them you know they just they just don't know what this is so you can't really blame the stable diffusion that they, they don't know this because it just they just they just don't have enough data sets that's trained on this most of the data set is trained on like pinups people standing upside you know and then like full body that kind of pose there's not a lot of these probably if you just typing like if probably if you just lower it to like very low even though the result might stray away from what you're actually putting here but you're just giving stable diffusion much more freedom oh, okay so like this is just messed up <laughs> right just 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 just, just seeing this much more. <laughs> yeah that's, that's not good that's not good you just gotta pull it back up i guess you just gotta put it back for 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 this model you, you really need to pull up the the weight control the control weight to get the result some other models, some other checkpoint models, does do better with the weight at the lower state. But okay, so for example, this kind of pose, and maybe just if you encounter poses that having this much issue, you can either just try your best to to tweak around with it, or also adding textual inversions or LoRa's do affect the result you're getting it can it can it can alter the the results by adding lauras or texture inversion but then like just just like you know just like bad artists those kind of texture inversion probably not going to affect a lot but then if you put like posing posing texture inversions that that do affect so you, unless you have a texture inversion on laura trained for specifically this pose otherwise just i'll just say you can just give it a try so for we could try out other posts like for example this one. This one is just like a literally just grab it and drag it in without any edits. So this is just like a raw data from the post sets I've created. So just by dragging in, this is this is like the typical stable diffusion posings. So I just delete all these, remove it, and I'll switch the height and and width. I'll just click generate, and then most likely, based on all these just like default setting it's just gonna get me a much better result because in this data set there's a lot of images that's trained on this kind of stuff this kind of pale, this kind of posing just like you know normal people standing upright doing all these stuff so you most likely will get a result very quickly because this is just what stable diffusion are much more familiar with so uh, okay after this, we can try a bit another one. This one's a bit different. It's like it's like posing a weird way. Let's give this a try. So when you encounter poses that are just very very just unique, like break dancing or or fighting poses, sometimes it's just that if you get a bad result, so most of the time it's because that the model you're using just does not have enough data sets. That's that that the AI are trained on to understand what this is most of the time 
most of the time it's just the, the data set they just didn't train enough on and then you just need to create a LoRa or, tr or find a LoRa that do 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 have data that's been trained doing this these these kinds of poses to help AI to understand better so 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 for example look at this pose this pose is just like it's, it's okay you know it's just not it does not stray too much away from what stable diffusion is unfamiliar with so another one. This one's a bit, a bit challenging for the stable diffusion. Like it's a very weird pose. Most likely, it's just gonna get me. Probably the body is gonna be okay, but the head's gonna be messed up because it just it just making a very very weird angle. Okay, so look at this. So okay, yeah, it's just like just, this is this is like like destroyed like like destroyed body. This one's okay. It's get it's at least the anatomy is all, all right, but then it's just that the posing is is a bit different. Also, the reason why the the face are deformed is because the the open pose is a bit far from far for this image. If you have this kind of problem, you can put the image into uh, image editor like Photoshop or GIMP or Photo P. And then you have a you just create a new project with the uh, width and height at the same setting, and you just drag in and co uh, copy and paste my created open pose into it, into it and just enlarge it, and then just put it back. You don't need background. You don't need black. As you can see, the P the PNG file I've created is just literally a transparent background, and then drag it in. The uh, stable diffusion, the control I still have. Perf is perfectly able to capture what you're showing. It's just that the open pose is probably just a bit too small for 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 stable diffusion to generate the image. Okay, so for example, okay, let's look at this one. So this one is the same thing. I just create a and uh, create an image in Photoshop with the width and height the same, and then just drag multiple different poses and into this image. Stable Division have no problem creating multiple poses. It's just that the posing need to be some need to be a pose that Stable Division could understand. So, for example, if I look, if I generate this, I I believe it's just perfectly fine. These images are just okay. Probably not this one. Probably this one have difficulty. Yeah, look at this. But this one's fine. It's just that Stable Division works better with poses that have clear structure. Any poses like this that have overlapping effects now if you look at this like this is like overlapping then then stable diffusion will have a hard harder time to understand what you're trying to do here like if you look at this it's like the head is very clear the hands are very clear and the, the legs and the body all these are very clear then it will yield the result much much better and much clearer this one is pretty good this one is pretty good but but as you can see like just both of these are fine, but then this one's just a bit, a bit, a bit messed up. Like it's like, like deformed. Even though I already have like a lot of prompts saying that I don't, I don't want deformed results. So, this is basically it. It's just if you want better results, some uh, you can try to add prompts to support and uh, help stable diffusion to understand what you're trying to do here, or you can just tweak around. The, the end control step like I try, I try to tweak around the start control step but then it doesn't really do anything other than just making it worse you can try put the control net is more important setting and to get a better result sometimes it works for different checkpoint models but sometimes it doesn't so it's just all really need to be based on experimentations like like look at like sometimes it just doesn't work for this model like just what what is this <laughs> just broken, broken leg, right? Just doesn't really work out here. But then if I put it here, control net's more important. Then it's just basically it's gonna value my control, net the the posing here as a first priority, and this is gonna be secondary. All right? It could yield better results, but you know, not all the time. But hey, not bad. No, it's not bad. It did. It did capture my result much better. So probably, 
realistic vision version 20 it's like it's better at this so, but let, let's try on this one let's try on this one see if that is better no let's try capture this one no it's just it's for, for posing especially unique posing like breakdancing or parkour it's all about experimenting really there's nothing really you can do about it to 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 really to just one one click generating stuff that are like 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 complicated posings are, are quite difficult right now stability vision is still having a hard time to generate this based on my experience probably there's a solution out there i don't know you're welcome to comment down below and I'll, I'll learn something new for sure right now the other solution i can think of is you just put this into in painting and then you just replace this replace the legs if you have the front part correct already like this one is like not bad you can just replace the back end with something else you can use this library to replace different kind of or you can put it into photoshop you know the same you just have the same dimension and then you replace it with depth map or or different kind of feet and use uh and use a uh, canny use canny to to generate a outline of the leg or anything like that using canny or def def maps to create legs that you want this works for me but then it's just you gotta put in extra work to fix this right now stable diffusion is, is still having a hard time to understand what this is you know it's just it's just i don't really know you can you can fix it or not but then it's just it's just really you can just either wait for improvement but then this is what it is you know I, i've tried multiple times different settings but then it's just that majority of the time the leg is always probably broken it's always it's, it's like a it's like a guessing game it's like chance. Sometimes you get good ones. Sometimes you just get bad ones. It's just based on luck. So this is basically it for this time. Uh, while, I'm, while, while I'm just demonstrating that how to use my data sets. So if you encounter any posings that are just too complicated for stable diffusion to understand, it's not your fault. It's not your prop is bad. You know, it's it's not that your control net setting is wrong. It's just that stable diffusion or and the checkpoint model just does not have enough data set trained on this specific kind of pose even though for us this is probably very simple but for stable diffusion it's very hard to understand because if the data set does not have enough posing with like you know the feet doing this kind of like angle this kind of posing then it's for for, for stable diffusion just like they just don't know what this is they only understand so the majority of the time you always see the front part is always correct because there's enough data set that stable diffusion is trained on knowing that all oh, this front part is a huge is that you know it's gonna look like that but then the back part they probably only know the pinups these kind of posing you know just like up down posing uh, most of the time so it's you, you can't really you just don't, don't blame yourself saying that it's, it's, it's bad you know you just can't you don't know what you're doing but no it's not really like that it's just that stable diffusion just doesn't understand you can either just do, or, or there's another option. Just you just find enough data set and train your own Laura with this kind of pose, with that kind of posing, and then you just put it in. And most likely, the, it's just gonna get the result you want because from because now with this Laura with the data set that's trained on, it's gonna know oh this is what you want. But then it's just that you gotta put more effort into it. Okay, this is about it. Thank you for watching.